welcome to Clinton's Corner. My name is Clinton Jarman. I am from the Fair Digest. And you know, as, as you know, on Mondays we bring you all the latest sports news from South Africa and around the world. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well as our online magazine for more. So straight into the sports news in some MMA action over the weekend. The, the UFC fight night. Jack the Joker Hermanson took on Jared uh, Covenier, I think his name is. Um, it was a middleweight fight between two potential, um, two potential maybe contenders for the for the title in in, in future. Um, Jack's been causing quite a stir recently with his with his um, with his record and his wins lately, uh, but uh, so has Jared as well. He's been slowly moving his way up the ranks and maybe now will be considered a, a, a after this fight will be considered a, a legitimate contender. So this fight was stopped by Tika in the sec in the first round. Sorry, um, Jack was changing levels, and as he changed levels, um, Jared caught him with an uppercut, and from then on it was just ground and pound for for Kavanier, and he, the referee had to had to stop the fight. Um, you know, after the fight, he did say that you know now he's looking at he wants a, a title shot and perhaps maybe in his next fight so we'll have to wait and see on that one but um yeah good uh, good fight there it was uh, was a was a good fight to watch i mean it, even though it stopped in the first round there was action from both the fighters so love to see that then uh, just straight into some uh, rugby world cup news um last week thursday italy took on canada italy won 48-7 um Italy looking confident ahead of their clash against South Africa. That should be an interesting one for the box. Um, I think we'll come away with the victory, but I don't think it's going to be a, as easy as people think. Uh, then also Thursday, England cruising to victory over the USA, 45-7. Uh, um, sorry, Italy. Um, England looking very confident at the moment. Um, then Saturday started off with Argentina against Tonga. Uh, Argentina winning out this one's um, 28-12, but Argentina far from convincing in this one. Now, Argentina lost their first game, obviously, to France, so this is the, the first game that they won and getting their campaign underway, but I thought Argentina would, would do a lot better in this group, I must admit. I thought they could take the French, and I definitely thought they'd be better against Tonga. Um, so, you know, Argentina, maybe they'll slip through into the quarterfinals, but I think that'll be as far as they go this, this year. Um, then more, more from Saturday, the upset of the weekend, the upset of the tournament so far, the host Japan getting one over Ireland, 19-12. Um, this was a game that in my, my friend circles and at my local cricket club, I kind of predicted, you know, the boys were saying before the, before the game, like, oh, no, Ireland's going to, you know, put... 20, 30 points on them. I said, no, watch, they're going to beat the Irish. And they came through and they pulled through and they won it. So um, that just smashes that pool wide open now. And, uh, you know, the box were possibly looking to take on Ireland in the next round. But that could be Japan. If Japan win their remaining games, they'll end top. So, um, yeah, definitely that pool very open at the moment. Also from Saturday, South Africa beat Namibia 57-3. Um, there will obviously be a full review of that game on on, on Friday when I do um, the Wild Pro Tier. So I'll give a full review of what I thought and and uh, the mistakes that were made and whatever in that game. So there'll be a full review on that on, on Friday. And then moving along to Sunday, um, just you know picking out certain results here. Wales took on Australia and uh, Wales beat Australia 29-25. Um, Wales, you know... Had a very strong first half. Um, put up, put up uh, good points against the, uh, the Aussies, and then the Aussies came back very well in the second half, and but never managed to take the lead, and never quite managed to grab the game by the scruff of the neck. Um, there was a moment quite, at, quite towards the the end of the first, the second half, where um, Australia kicked the penalty. And I thought that maybe they should have gone for the line at that point. It would have given them the lead. Um, it would have been a bit more of a risk. But it would have given them the lead and a semblance of control and asserted their dominance that they showed throughout that second half. So, But uh, there's still another chance for, for Australia. I think they'll still make it through a second 
best in their group, so not over yet for them. Um, and then today, Scotland, um, as I said earlier, that pool that they in, they blew that pool wide open by beating Samoa 34-0. A comprehensive performance from the Scots. The Samoans, you know, they gave their all. You could see they were giving their all on the field and they came close a few times to scoring, but it just wasn't to be today. Uh, two penalty tries in the second half as well against them. So, you know, Samoa, not quite um, as good as they used to be at the World Cup, but, you know, gave... I think even though the scoreline was was 34-0, gave Scotland a decent game. You know, I think Scotland there'll, there'll be there'll be few a uh, few sore bodies tomorrow. Um, then just some athletics for you guys over the weekend. Obviously, the World Champs started the IWF World Champs. Um, unfortunately, our South African athletes haven't been doing as well as as perhaps they would have liked. Akines and Beam he made the final of the men's 100 meters. Uh, with a time of, I think it was 10.001, and um, that, was, that was to make it into the finals. Uh, unfortunately, he had a slow start in the finals and never managed to recover that, from that slow start, and he ended fourth just outside the middle placings. Um, bitterly disappointing for Zimbim because I think this has been probably his best running season this, this, this far, and... You know, he did say that he'd come back stronger and, and, and faster next season. Um, then just more in the uh, the athletics. Our two long jumpers, Luvo Manyangu and Rushwal Samai, they ended fourth and fifth respectively in the in the, the in their long jump events. Um, unfortunately also just missing out on some medal placing, so um, like I said, the South African athletes not doing as well as they would have hoped in, in that one. Then just moving on to some NFL news from the weekend. The Saints took on the Cowboys. And uh, the Saints winning out this one 12-10. Uh, both teams move now to 3-1 and one starts. And, um, you know, Dallas's first loss of the season. The Rams took on the... Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and this was quite a surprising scoreline, 55-40 to the Buccaneers. I don't think anyone would have called that before the game, or, you know, before the season started even. The Bucs, um, really doing well in this one. Um, for the Rams, worrying signs, you know, their defense is what sort of made them Super Bowl contenders last season. So it's worrying that they letting... 55 points in against the Bucks. Uh, the Rams now move to 3-1 and one as well. Then the Kansas City Chiefs are 4-0. and oh, But they had to work for it as they won out 34-30 with a touchdown right at the end of the game. Um, I actually watched the end of the game and um, the Detroit Tigers had a... Lions, sorry, had a, a, a chance to win the game right at the end and came up short. But this was a topsy-turvy affair and the lead changed, I think it was five times in the second half and three times in, in the fourth quarter. So that just shows you how close that one. But the Kansas City Chiefs pulling it out in the end. They moved to 4-0 and now. Um, the Cleveland Browns took on the Ravens. Uh, the Ravens are looking to bounce back after losing to the Chiefs. And the Browns are looking to bounce back after their loss from last week as well. Uh, the Browns pulling this one out, 40 points to 23. Um, so both teams now 2-2. Two and two, And I think their, their respective records reflect where those teams, two teams are at the moment. I don't think they're quite Super Bowl ready, but they might be playoff ready. Uh, the Patriots moved to 4-0 as well. Um, six, they won 16-10 over the Buffalo Bills. This is a game that I did watch. Um, the Bills defense was amazing. The whole afternoon they you know you came up with stops um, and if, if it wasn't for the Patriots defense I don't think the Pats would have won this one um, and a number of things going their way as well like the quarterback from the Bills going off in I think it was the third quarter going off injured so I think the Pats were pretty lucky in this one but they did come up with a vital stop in the in the in the fourth quarter with about Two minutes to go and 
You know, that defense, that much vaunted Pats defense came through for them once again. Um, then just moving on to one to watch for for over the next weekend will be Dallas versus Green Bay. Um, you know, with Green Bay losing their first game and Dallas losing their first game, both teams will be looking to bounce back. And both teams are p- potential sort of uh, Super Bowl candidates. If you look at, you know, on one side you've got Aaron Rodgers who's, had his critics after, you know, the first couple games, but he's come back quite nicely. Um, they'll be looking to bounce back after losing to the Eagles, but so will, the, will Dallas. I think Dallas will be hugely disappointed that they couldn't beat a Drew Breesless um, New Orleans Saints. So, um, yeah, in, in my, my opinion, I think Dallas will, will probably win this one, but we'll have to wait and see. And as usual, we'll bring it to you next week monday um that's all i have for you guys today so don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe here on our youtube channel don't forget to subscribe on our online magazine as well also get your comments in below guys and um, if there's any other sports you'd like me to mention on a monday or in the the wild pro tier on a friday i can do that for you just comment and leave a, a a suggestion